Hey, this is Dean Coles here with City Connects. We're in uh, the Cleveland area and we're Go Ministries doing an outreach here in the park with uh, Crossroads Community Church and the Bronx Urban Ministry. They partner together to serve these uh, communities and we'd love for your group to come out here. A lot of needs here at Go. Uh, behind me there's a sign, they have a kitchen, they have a homeless ministries, they have a food bank, they have a lot of things. But as you can see, they've taken over uh, basically given an elementary school that uh, was closed up in this community and it's a depressed community the steel industry has moved out of here so we have a lot of needs in this community and we'd love for you guys to come uh, to this area and experience what God has in store. Hi, my name is Pastor Aaron Kyler from Crossroads Community Church and this is Pastor John Salters from GO Ministry and Pastor John Salters has his family has had an incredible impact on this neighborhood and what kind of work do you need done here in Asheville, Ohio on Station Avenue? We are, um, we, we've been here for about two and a half years, and we're trying to work in the community. We do our food giveaways, we have a soup kitchen here, a clothing bank, and we need help with that. Uh, we need volunteers, and we also uh, have a uh, rec center, and we try to have more things for the kids. This street used to be a, a, a street that drug dealers hung out on and there used to be a lot of gang violence and all of that but since we've been over here that's been non-existent What reaches a person's heart is the word of God. And like I said, God works in mysterious ways. I am product of a street ministry <laughs> that um, they were like outside singing songs that I knew from when I went to church. And my man Eddie right here, <laughs> he was um, doing a poem. And the poem hit my heart. Like he was talking about me, like what I was going through, my struggles, you know. And um, my everything. If I was to tell you today that. You have been separated, divinely ordained, especially chosen. But in order to do so, please understand first, you got to be broken. Now I'm not a preacher, I'm a testifier. Because the Lord's put me through the test and fire. I'm a soul survivor because I learned to make him my soul provider. No longer trusting in myself, but trusting in you, Lord, my everlasting help. Now times will come. When you're in the desert and feel lonely, God tells you when those times come, my child, learn to hold me. Hold on with everything you have. Believe me, one day you look back and laugh. Now this walk isn't for the weak at heart. It's for those who believe God is faithful to finish everything he starts. But we got to do our part, stand firm and sharp. Because flakiness will God will only leave you in the dark. I said we got to do our part, stand firm and sharp. Because flakiness will God will only leave you in the dark. So let's keep that spark and keep that fire going. Because if you're willing, he's willing to keep your spirit growing and your spirit flowing. And how will we know what the Bible says your fruits will be showing? He'll shine through you and to the world you'll be the light. Filled with his spirit, ready for any, any spirit you fight. If God is for us, if God is for us, if God is for me, who can be against me? See, this is victory. I am sold. Jesus paid the price for me, so I say it bold. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. And what he has set free, free and what he has set free, it's free and what he has set free, free see, I'm not a preacher. I'm a testifier because the Lord's put me through the testing fire. I'm a soul survivor because I learned to make him my soul provider. Amen. God bless you guys. So when I say I've got a word for you, I'm talking to you. 
And in his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Is that it? 